2K land, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. NBA 2K, a hey, leaks and intel and all that. So 2K had a little Q&A type deal and uh, leaks and intel, they just made it easy for us. So big shout out to them, man. We're going to get into all of that, everything that uh, has happened. We're also going to be talking about the the show that Stax Montana and those guys have where they answered a lot of questions about crossplay and all of that. And we're you know, going to have a good time today, man, because it's easy. Oh, J easy like Sunday morning. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go to the moon. At. And listen, we also got a new segment of the show, man, where we're going to be showcasing you guys' comments and stuff like that. You got a good comment? You really want to like, uh, do something? We're going to put you on the show, man. Bow, just like we did today, man. Check it out. Comp Dog, the Comp Dog, baby. Comp Dog, he was talking about, we are talking about which edition uh, one should get. And Comp Dog, he just said, listen, man. $70, get the $70 edition and just buy the VC outright. The Mamba, the Mamba edition is $100 and you get 100 VC. If you buy if you buy the $70 edition, then you can buy $30 worth of VC and you can save, uh, that you say that you can get 110, you know, VC or what have you. Now you won't get all the uh, extra stuff, but I don't think anybody cares about that because nobody buys the physical edition really anyway. So I'm feeling you on that. Also, a hey, RoboStar, hey, you got to change to the gym star, man, but RoboStar says celebrating 2K for crossplay in their game in 2023 is like congratulating me for brushing my teeth on Sunday when I didn't do it Monday through Saturday. They drop the monkey facing mic on them boys, man. Hey, man, I can't even get mad at it, bro. Like, it is what it is. I definitely understand. Anybody saying that we shouldn't be celebrating this uh, at this point in time, I'm with it because I definitely feel like Fortnite came out and, uh, you know, like I said, they had a lot more pressure on them, so they had to do the crossplay thing earlier because they were trying to compete with Play Unknown Battlegrounds. And when you have a lot of competition, just like what my homeboy say, homeboy hard eight times say, competition is good. I say competition is good. Like when you have competition and you feel those pressures from outside, you have to make the changes that the other people aren't. This is why Madden and 2K, they've just now gotten um, crossplay because they had no competition. There was no competition. There was nothing for them to do to make their game more appealing. And thus they made it, uh, you know, they're just making the change when they absolutely have to, when the pressures from the community are just like, bro, we just not about to tolerate this no more. We're not buying the game twice. We're not gonna keep doing this anymore. We just need y'all to comply with our request. And I can dig it, man. So he's absolutely right on that, man. But if you're trying to get in the comment section and be featured on the show, man, make sure y'all do that, man. Comment down below. And if y'all want me to start putting the, you know, like the, uh, the wall of fame up there, like whoever did first and all that, y'all let me know. But anyway, NBA 2K links and Intel. I think I hit the right button, and yes, I did. He just says, listen, new gen players from PS5 and Xbox Series X will be able to communicate via game chat. Now, we know that um I, I don't I thought that was just par for the course. A lot of times when you do when you do create uh when they do create these servers or what have you, you have to talk between game chat. There is no like separate voice server or anything like that. That's why y'all need to be getting on Discord. Like me and T, we're gonna be on the Discord. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be in there and, and we'll be doing it that way. Like we have been since like, what, 2017 or whatever, whenever we first started playing together. Like we always did Discord. It just is what it is. Much safer. Party chat. You don't want to do that. People snatching IPs. People doing so much stuff when, when, when you get in on party chat. It's just far too dangerous. My boy, forget that. He was just like, he hopped in a party with somebody that he thought he trusted. Next thing you know, people sending pizza to his house. Again, you come to, you come, if you come to where I am, then then the black mamba is gonna bite you. And it's just it's just not gonna be good. You know, all that trolling and stuff, but like people just be trying to call you and they try to grab your information. It's just not a good thing, man. So we try to avoid parties as much as humanly possible. But other than that, yeah, that's 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 how it normally is. Apex Legends, you have to talk, but you have to talk via game chat. Uh, you know, uh, Fortnite, you have to talk via game chat. But Fortnite also has a feature where you can just you don't have to be in game chat. You can just talk. It's like a pseudo party type thing. So Fortnite, but they've been in it a lot longer. But most other games, Call of Duty, all of that, when we play those games, you got to talk via game chat or just 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 get in Discord. It's free. It's on Xbox. It's on PlayStation. You know, that probably was the precursor and all that. So we probably knew knew that was up. Up next, we got, and he says, uh, this, is, this is my NBA news. He says, new to the my NBA New to, new to my NBA will be the LeBron James era, which is cool. Uh, beginning, and I know, boy, I know some haters is mad about that. The LeBron era, <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, I did. I don't know if they're gonna have a Mamba era or something. Maybe they call the '90s the Mamba era. But uh, beginning in 2011, uh, got well. The Mamba era would be from really would probably be from '99 to 2009 or 2010. I think that's when they won that last championship or whatever. When Courtney Lee blew them two layups. But it is what it is. Um, you said two to 2000. Well, beginning in 2011, guide your team against or even with LeBron and take your franchise to the next level against some of the all-time greats. Uh, also coming to uh, NBA 2K24 is simple errors. This is a casual, more easy to, to navigate era of, uh, of the main mode aimed at players who just want to make a few moves and get on with the action. And that's something that I be wanting to do, man, because y'all know I, I, sometimes I do the My Career Sims or what have you that y'all don't even watch. And maybe I didn't start doing them too early enough. But, you know, we, we I do those My Era joints and then we just do the simulation of Career Sims. Sometimes I want to do the Career Sims without having to do all this setup and all of that stuff. I just want to do it and get it done. That's all, that's all I want to do. So, you know, uh, it'll make it a lot easier for me. It's going to be dope. Uh, let's get on with it. He said, ball out with the W. I don't know. Like, hey, some people playing the W. They got a W edition. It is what it is. Start start your journey as a college star or an undiscovered GM for, uh, from overseas in pursuit of greatness. You'll be tested against the best the best in the league, the best the league has to offer. How will you measure up? Collect new historic merchandise, WNBA signature shoes, and all new bass perks along the way. I don't know if they got to deal with the WNBA or whatever, man, but the W, I mean, it seems like it's going to stay around. Um, and it has been, it, it has been staying around or, or what have you. And it, it just is what it is. Um, up next, they got, they got, hey, old gen will have a revamped builder and new bad system and i'm hearing that next gen is gonna have the same thing or whatever man you know it, but at least they're giving they're giving our uh, current gen something you know because of those guys like uh you know hey look bass pro is trolling to my some next gen the <laughs> current gen is the wave <laughs> it is what it is though a lot of people want to do you know that but they got to get them guys something man and uh with pc being stuck on current gen it is what it is it's tough but again I just think that they don't want to put a whole lot of a whole lot of anything into a game that they're just not going to be supporting that much anymore. And with PC, if you put them on next gen or what have you, which they could easily do, PC would be the nextest of gen. But if you do that, man, I think a lot of times they just, you know, they got to put some anti-cheat in there. They, you know, they just got to do too much. So I think they just they just don't want to deal with that headache. And, uh, you know, hey, to some degree, I mean, it's, it's on PC for, for doing that stuff, man. You, you can get a day 199 with all the badges and 99 and everything. You know, somebody said them dudes is terrible, but hey, I, I ain't trying to play against them uh, any, anyway. It said, in in an all new beachfront city, that's what they got. My, uh, my career heats up, take control of your legacy, take control of your legacy in my career and ascend from a generational talent to a hall of famer chasing greatness and championships along the way. Explore a stunning tropical backdrop and flex your custom personalized uh, style in an all new beachfront city for uh, PlayStation, PS5, and Xbox, rich with optional side quests and sizzling street ball action. I'm from, but I'm from, uh, I'm from uh, North Side Atlanta. You know, so it's, it's a street ball, street ball action or what have you. So you know, it's gonna be dope, man. It's an optional side quest is always good because giving us options and letting us play the game. I feel like. This is how you got to do the side quest. They should be optional, but if they're going to be optional, they need to be important. So, um, like, if you want to get those certain badges or whatever, you got to do your side quest, right? Certain things should be only be able to be unlocked via the side quest. But if I've already unlocked that and I want to just go through the game and blast through the game and play my career, I should be able to do that as well. So, but... If you're gonna put the, the side quest there and make them optional, make them be important or what have you. And then last but not least, man, this is a couple of things that we got. I was watching the stream with Stax Montana and uh, and those guys, man. And they, they, they dropped a couple of gems uh, in that whole thing, man. So number one, there is no cross save. You can't cross save. They was asking, you know, will I be, you know, what I was talking about earlier, there's no cross save. They have cross play and a lot of times that's good enough, but Fortnite might be the only game that actually has cross save and all of that because uh, Apex Legends don't even have cross save and they said that that's even more difficult to do than cross play. I don't really understand how because I feel like it's just reading the file from one to another, but maybe it's the format of the file. Maybe it's stirring on. I mean, it's just a file on your server. I just don't understand how cross 
how cross save is that difficult but again i digress i'm not a programmer it is what it is but there's no cross save so if you have you you might just want to play on one system this year and then just make several players on that system so let's say if i start off on xbox or if i want to start off on playstation because i got this trusty dusty controller whatever wherever i start my game out that's probably where you're going to want to finish because you won't be able to uh you know you're not going to have cross save cross progression any of that won't be there so you're going to have to you're going to have to just wherever you start is probably where i would finish but just make a bunch of characters because you'll be able to play with everybody so it shouldn't matter that much but it does because sometimes you might be like eh, i just don't like the game on xbox i want to play on i'd rather play on playstation then if you want certain characters you got to go back and forth so it will be inconvenient but it is what it is at least we got cross play so so it shouldn't be too bad and then last but not least People gonna be out there ducking smoke, man. Why I say that? Cause crossplay is. It look. I heard that they said they're gonna. They're gonna show you how to turn to get turn on crossplay, turn it off, enable it, disable it, whatever. And so that means that crossplay is something that can be turned on, turned off. I can see people now. <laughs> man, I don't be. I don't be not uh, this old head voice. Man, I don't be using that crossplay. I be lagging when I be using that crossplay. Shut the f up. Shut the f up you lagging because you're on wi-fi you the, the the modem is on the other side of the house the bottom left side of the house where the entrance is you in in a room on the third floor of your house or, or the second floor of your house and you and you you as far physically far away from it as you can get and you're running wi-fi instead of running power line adapters like you should be doing or just get the doggone thing dropped in the room or what have you just pay them little 90 dollars and get the drop dropped in your room and then nah, no but you want to complain about it and then put it on crossplay no that ain't what's going on baby if you got a lot more issues than, anyway y'all know what i'm saying man but y'all i get it though you can already see people ducking smoke yeah i'll be playing you know what i'm saying <laughs> Crossplay on because it makes me like yeah. yeah, that's gonna be. I can already see that that's just, that's gonna be the out that a lot of people, content creators included, gonna be using why as to why they don't have crossplay enabled. Yeah, I don't really rock that crossplay, man. But it is what it is, man. Hey, you want to duck the smoke? Duck that smoke, man. But then again. I know a lot of people in the comment section gonna say, hey man, but they might be right because we know how the 2K servers are. But I mean, if 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 you're lagging during crossplay, then you're gonna be lagging like apex legends legends fortnite all this stuff when you turn off crossplay the experience is not better you just play with people that you can probably hear because sometimes it is very cumbersome with the uh with the communication and sometimes that cross communication it just it doesn't work out the way that you would think it was but hey y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man if you turn off crossplay are you ducking smoke or you think people are really gonna be lagging because of crossplay that's the best question um let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Z, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please.